Great taste of Manitoba and turkey appetizers from around the world. Chef Jason Wartzman here, and you're actually going to put me to work here. I was trying to talk yeah. you out of get, make, you know, getting me to make one of these, but you're sure that it's going to be easy and fine and simple. Absolutely. I'm going to trust you on this, Chef. Okay, so we are doing a Vietnamese turkey salad roll yes. with rice paper, rice noodles. This is awesome. I just want to... This already smells so beautiful. Mint, we'll get to that in a second, but you're going to make a homemade hoisin? Hoisin sauce. Sauce. Okay, yes. now of course you can buy this, um, but what you're making here today, gluten-free and also, I guess, healthier, right? Yep. In a way. So yeah, it's more, more natural. Traditionally, hoisin sauce is made with plums, but a lot of times they just use the least costly ingredients and there's a wide range of stuff that can be in a hoisin sauce. Right, um, but you've got like five things here yeah, that you're going to yeah, put five in. five simple ingredients. Are those cherries? Yes, that's a cherry jam, so it's going to be wow. a cherry hoisin sauce Ooh. instead of a plum. Okay, So just start with a little bit of canola oil mm -hmm. in here. Again, and nice neutral flavor. Mm -hmm. And I have fresh chopped ginger here, so we just want to brown the ginger a little bit to get a little bit of flavor on there. Okay. Okay. And then I have some rice vinegar. For some Yeah, a little bit of tartness acidity. there. Yeah. And we have some uh, Chinese five spice. Yeah, so can you talk two seconds about that? It's got, I, I know it's got a, a couple of different things in it. Um, it's got anise, is that right? Yeah, some, sometimes it varies, but it's usually anise, cloves, cinnamon, uh, Szechuan peppercorns. Yeah. It's, it's not necessarily sweet on its own. It's, in this case, it's the uh, cherry jam. Okay. Really, will... I'm kind of mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, it's yeah. always open to interpretation, right? Mm -hmm. But it, it's lovely. Absolutely. It's yeah. really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of soy sauce. And, and again, they're gluten-free, right? Yeah, well, I'm in using a tamari. Oh, okay. And that's why most hoisin sauces you buy, or pretty much all of them will not be gluten-free, but this one will be. It is. And then the cherry jam is just a really nice touch to make it a little bit different. Mm. And that's essentially it. You can just let it simmer for a bit, and then um, you can puree it a bit if, in this case, the cherries are kind of big, so. I so we'll wish wanna... you could smell that right now. Uh, you'll have to go to greattastemb.ca and do this on your own. Okay, mm -hmm. now we move on to, or we, we have to wet our rice paper, right? Yeah, I'd like to do that first, just sure. because uh, that way it'll give them a chance to soak. It doesn't take long. Um, and but... I'm doing one of these for sure? Mm -hmm. You're insisting? Yeah. All right. So basically, you take a little bit of warm water and you just uh, brush one side of the rolls. So it, now... is, like, it is like, it's hard. Mm -hmm. And then just flip it over okay. and brush the other side. Okay. And it only has to sit for about 20 seconds and, and, and you're good it's ready to go. to go. And interestingly, on a lot of the packages, they say to soak them in warm water. Mm -hmm. But then you really have a challenge. If you soak them for too long, they'll get too soft. Oh, I imagine um, we get I super find mushy, this right? Just works a lot better this way. Wouldn't it just be easier to like pour them? <laughs> you could, yeah. But then okay. if you get too much water on, they'll get too soft. Yeah, right. It's a bit um, of a. Yeah. A bit of a dance, so, hey? Yeah, and once you start going and your cutting board's wet, then you can make multiple ones quite easily. Oh, I see. And, okay. Uh, the rest yeah. kind of takes care of itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, while I'm kind of finishing yep. this off... Um, I'll we, talk we, a bit about this here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I have some uh, cooked turkey thigh here, and it's shredded very finely because you want your filling to be, um, you know, fine. And you could really use any kind of cooked turkey meat, so you could use your turkey leftovers from Thanksgiving or Christmas. Oh, that's great. brilliant. And mm -hmm. of course, this is Granny's, Granny's mm -hmm. Turkey. Absolutely. And then we have some shredded carrot. So lovely. Peak of the market comes through again. Mm -hmm. And these are cooked rice noodles. Those look delish. Mm -hmm. Very simple. You just have to boil them for about 10 seconds. All right. And that's seconds. lettuce. And that's just shredded lettuce. Okay. And this is the fresh mint that, that you mint. talked about earlier. Wow. Yeah. And a bit of green onion here. Okay. Yeah. Stir it up. Yeah. So then you just want to mix it all together. And... Uh, this yeah, is such a can... beautiful, it's such a beautiful appetizer too. Like they yeah. they look uh, so, you know, f like fancy, you know, mm -hmm. and they're just so fun yeah. to eat. And very fresh. Mm -hmm. and oh, that mint, I just yeah. can't get over how good that yeah. smells. Yeah, so any time of the year, it just kind of reminds you of summer. Mm-hmm. And uh, so then you just want to put a little bit in the center here. Okay. See, that so. seems like a lot to me, but. Yeah. And you can, you know, make them as big as you want, really. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So then what we do here is then we just fold the sides. And what do we do with the sauce? Is that coming out? Okay. Uh, that comes well, The sauce after? we can dip. You can put a little bit in if you want. Okay. You know, it, it can go either way. Um, what, what would yeah. you do? Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to do you what you would bit, do. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Put a little bit in there, sure. Okay. Now I'm not going to... Do you want me to put some on yours? Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, there's trust. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. how's that? That's great. I haven't botched it yet. Yeah. Okay, now and what? So then you just want to fold your sides first. Okay, like so. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if I put enough um, 
like I don't know if I wet this mm. enough. Oh, yeah, I think you're okay there. So just like yeah. so. Yeah, and then you want to fold from the bottom. Okay. okay. Oh, I definitely didn't get yeah, this moist little, enough. It'll, it'll be fine there. Just, oh, just it's kind of it coming up. together. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> That's go. not horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There you I go. love it. Look at that. Oh, yours mm -hmm. looks, you know, obviously better. But I guess, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter though, right? Because nope. now that you just eat it, you don't have to cook this. This is all done, done, done. That's right. And then this lovely uh, hoisin sauce that you made, you could dip it or, yep. put, you know, chop yep. it, I suppose. Yep. That's another way to go. I think mm -hmm. mine looks so good. I'm going to put it in the display dish. And there you, go. you could put yours there if you want okay. to, probably. <laughs> I could do that too. That was sure. actually really great. And it really yeah. wasn't that difficult um, because I think that sometimes when it's an ingredient or a product that you don't normally use, like rice paper, for example, you tend to you know, worry a little bit, well, is this going to be difficult? It really wasn't. So yeah. uh, wet it down, put all these beautiful ingredients uh, in that we did here today, and you've got yourself an amazing turkey salad roll. Um, Thailand, that's where we're going next on turkey appetizers from around the world, right here on Great Tastes of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba Agriculture.